Hello everyone, in this video I would be showing you how to use the newly updated Virtual Museum Template, a great digital tool that students can use to demonstrate their knowledge and skills by creating exhibits about any academic subject or topic, with the amazing features and capabilities of Google Slides. You can find a link to the template in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the Google Slides template. The first three slides are the title pages. Have your students choose one that they wish to use and then delete the rest. Next, your students can type in the topic of the museum, for example, Civil War, and then type in their names. In the bottom right corner, click on the Enter button to go to the museum's lobby. Here is where visitors can go to different rooms to find information about the academic topic, in this case, Civil War information. Let's go to room 1. Here you can find two spaces where students can add images that represent their artifact. For example, let's say Artifact 1 is the Union Army uniform worn in the Civil War. You can go to Tools, Research, choose images from the drop down arrow, drag the image into the slide, and then make the appropriate size changes. Now this image would not demonstrate my students' understanding of the uniform worn by the Union Army. To see true understanding, you can click on the Artifact 1 button to zoom into the Artifact slide. Here students can change the title of the artifact, delete the box, and add an image into the slide, or even add a video that the students made. To add a video, go to Insert, Video, and then type in your search. On the left is where students can provide detailed information about the artifact, as well as the links to the resources they used. You can go back to the room where you came from here, or go to another room by going to the lobby, or go to the next artifact here. Let's go back to the lobby. As you can see, you have two additional rooms of artifacts. The total number of artifacts is seven. You can have students add more rooms and more artifacts if they wish. We also have a curator's office slide. Here students can take a picture of themselves by going to insert, image, and then take a snapshot. Or they can upload an image from their computer by clicking here, then choosing an image, and then click open. Adjust the size of the pic and place it on the screen of the computer. To crop, simply double click on the image, adjust the cropping size, and then adjust the picture. Finally, have students click on the image, then click on the Insert Link button, choose the curator's screen with Bio slide, and then click Apply. Now visitors can click on the image to get to the curator's bio. Here students can add an image or a video and provide informational text about themselves. Finally, going back to the lobby, you will find the Reference button. This slide is where students can list all the resources they used to create their virtual museum. When students are done, they can share the presentation with you here. And then publish their museum by going to File, Publish to Web, Publish, and then copy the URL. Visitors can use the URL to visit the museum in this format. If you would like to learn how to use Google Slides and gain the skills needed to create your own virtual museum, please check out a playlist of Google Slides tutorial from Google for Works YouTube channel. You can find the links in the description below. On the last slide of the template, you can find links to my website and other social media accounts. Please follow me on my Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram accounts, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more education-based videos. See you next time.